Hello everybody, my name is Rudolfo and I'm studying for my next license in the boiler industry. Today I have 10 questions with my best answer. So let's start to find out how much do you know. So let's start with question 81. How many adjustments can you make to a safety valve? How many adjustments can you make to a safety valve? None. Zero. Operators cannot make any adjustments to safety valve. The pop pressure, the popping pressure and the blowback can only be adjusted by a manufacturer or an authorized repair company. Name three principal parts of a coal pulverizing system. Name the principal parts of a coal pulverizing system. So Conveyor, crushers, silos, feeders, pulverizes, and ignition system. When operating a boiler, what heat losses can be controlled? When operating a boiler, what heat losses can be controlled? So the loss that can be controlled are heat absorbed by the boiler, incomplete combustion, and unburned fuel in ash. The loss that can be controlled are heat absorbed by the boiler, incomplete combustion, and unburned fuel in the ash. Next question. Name two types of condensers used with steam turbine. Name two types of condensers used with steam turbines. That question I got on my oral exam. Okay, so surface condensers are air cooled condensers. Surface condensers and air-cooled condensers are most common today. Surface condensers and air-cooled condensers are most common today. Explain how do you would perform an overspeed test on a non-condensing turbine? Explain how we would perform an overspeed trip test on a non condensing turbine. So let's start. Uncouple driven piece of equipment. Warm turbine according to manufacturer's specific. Row to 200 to 500 RPM and trip the turbine. Relatch the turbine and now you're gonna roll to 500 RPM and sound out the turbine. Walk around, do some visual inspection and listen for any uh, not normal noise. Roll the turbine to the operating speed with three people, one at stop valve, one at trip, and one hand held tachometer 
over speed turban and report three point. So again, you're gonna roll the turban to the operating speed. And then with three people, okay, you're gonna increase the speed. Okay, so one person is gonna be at the stop valve and another one to the bypass adding more steam to the turbine okay and the third person will be at the tachometer to record the three point after that you repeat the test so next question name three ways that steam is prevented from leaking from the casing name three ways that steam is prevented from leaking from the casing so you can use so seals are used to prevent leakage okay and there are three types okay the carbon rings seals with garter springs water seal and labyrinth packing with or without sealing steam that was a question very common when I try to get my license okay I saw the question uh, the types of uh, ceilings for the turban carbon rings seals with garter spring water seals and labyrinth packing with or without sealing steam what's cavitation and what effect does it have on a pump what is a cavitation and what effect does it have on a pump cavitation is defined as the formation and collapse of a vapor bubbles in the pump due to mechanical forces in addition to no low flow from the pump cavitation can ca cause a failure of pump components Cavitation is defined as the, as the formation and collapse of vapor bubbles in the pump due to mechanical forces. In addition to no low flow from the pump, cavitation can cause failure of the pump. Okay, so if our pump is cavitating, you're not going to see pressure. Okay. It's going to be noise, noise, noise as hell. Okay? And if you keep doing that, don't pass that point, or not fix the solution, you definitely can damage the pump. Okay? Make sure you have enough water in the DA tank, so we we'll have enough head pressure. And check it out, the temperature of the water. Sometimes adding some more cold water, that will help. Why do we preheat boiler feed water? Why do we preheat boiler feed water? So, we preheat feed water to reduce fuel consumption in the boiler. And added benefit to preheating feed water is the removal of oxygen and non-condensable gases. Okay, 95% of the oxygen you can remove by heating the water. What is boiler horsepower according to chapter 146 in Massachusetts? So four methods. To determine boiler horsepower first method manufacturer's tag 
Second, steam output divided by 34.5. BTUs per hour input divided by 41,840. And BTU hours output divided by 33.475. Okay, and our last question of the night going to be what is BTU what's the BTU in one horsepower hour what's the BTU in one horsepower hour there is 2545 BTUs in one horsepower hour okay i hope you guys like this video uh subscribe like share and i see you guys on the next video thank you